Hello, Coach Liz here. Today I want to talk to you about our healthy habit of the week. It is from the life book, Element 18, and it is all about exercise. Um, last week we talked about NEAT points. That stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. That is where you're trying to move your body more intentionally throughout the day without an actual formal exercise. So what that might mean is parking farther from the store whenever you go somewhere or taking the stairs when you have that option or standing up when you're on the phone and walking around instead of sitting on the couch. So little ways to be more intentional with your movement every day. Um, now this week we're actually talking about intentional movement, which we call EAT exercise, exercise activity thermogenesis, where you're actually um, intentionally putting on your shoes, going for a walk, doing a workout. Um, and it's so good for your body, for your muscles, for your bones, for your mind. Exercise is key in lifelong health. So in element 18, it talks about great ways to get started with exercise. If you're already doing exercise, great, keep that up. But if you're not, there's some great tips in here on how to get started. One um, thing that I love that Dr. Anderson talks about in this book is he talks about the importance of making exercise fun. A lot of times we think of it like a chore. And he actually says that it's important to start thinking of exercise as a gift you're giving yourself versus a chore that you, for you to do. So it's important to find something that you enjoy doing. It's a gift for your body when you exercise. Um, and so a few ways to get started, he, he talks about three steps to getting started. Um, he, first, starting with um, level one, walking and a fitness program. So just starting with a walking plan. It can be 20 minutes a day, um, five minutes of warm up, then speeding up a little bit for about 10 minutes and then a cool down for five more minutes. That's a simple thing that anyone can do that can go for a walk. So that's a great place to start. The next level is resistance program, actually building those muscles. And did you know that it increases your metabolism when you have muscles? Muscles Muscle burns more calories than fat. And so having muscle actually will give you that extra boost of metabolism. Level three is um, boosting your workouts to high intensity training. So really upping your heart rate um, and doing some more high intensity training once you get to that level. But it's important to baby step to that point. Um, so if you're wanting to start a resistance program or walking program, check out your book. It's all in Element 18. It actually walks you through exercises to do, how long to do it, walks you through baby steps on how to get started with that. Also, you can look up habitsofhealth.com and there's actually a video on uh, how to properly do exercises and how to get started with an exercise routine. So that is great also. And exercise doesn't mean that you have to go to the gym. It can be things that you can do right in your own home. And actually in this element, there are exercises you can do right in your own home. So how do we get started with an exercise program? Let me just give you a challenge, something that you can do to make that a micro habit of health. My challenge for you is to pick one thing that you're going to do every day. We talked about micro habits of health, doing something so small and simple that it becomes a habit. So for example, if you want to start walking, what if you made a goal to put on your shoes and walk to the end of your driveway every day? No matter what, even if you got home at 11 o'clock at night, you could put on your shoes and walk to the end of your driveway really quickly. Um, but most days, you're probably going to walk farther. You might go for a 10 or 20 or 30 minute walk, and that's great. That's how you build up your exercise. But forming the habit that you're taking time to be intentional with your, with your exercise every day is something really little. If it's a treadmill, it might be you're going to jump on the treadmill for one minute a day. And some days it right, might really be one minute, but most days it's probably going to be more. If it's resistance training, it might be that you're gonna do one push-up a day. Every day you're gonna do one push-up no matter what. Um, and most days, once you get down on the floor, you're gonna find that you're, you'll do more push-ups and you're gonna start building up those muscles and the desire to do more. And as you get healthy, of course, you're gonna feel better and you're gonna wanna do more. Um, so it might be yoga, it might be one yoga pose a day. And most days you'll probably do more, but even if you do one yoga pose, that's your goal. So that's something to celebrate. So that's my challenge is pick one exercise that you want to get better at to be more consistent. Walking, so find something that you love. Um, if you wanna build muscle, like I said, it might be a push-up, and it might be that you're starting against the wall if you can't do a push-up on the floor. And that's okay also, you'll start building that muscle and pretty soon you'll be able to get down on the floor and do some push-ups. So that's my habit um, for you this week. My challenge is exercise, our healthy habit of the week, coming from the life book. And you can check that out. Um, it's really great walks you through on how to get started. So I hope you have a great day.